Good morning. I was truly on edge these last um, few weeks um, because Laura, the state came down here and tagged my fuel tanks. Um, seems like everything that could have happened while I've been here has happened. And you know, I had to develop this document that's never existed. Uh, they're wrapping up for the year here and we got waste to be removed. But I had to develop this document here and it shows an emergency plan for tank maintenance and everything. I put this together and in the plan, it shows the emergency evacuation. I'll show you the sheet. I repainted this to show you where the emergency shutoff is for our tanks. And then the emergency evacuation from this building is to come out this door, go around that corner heading north, turn west and meet at the street by the fire hydrants. The tanks have been sandblasted, ground on, rust removed. New labels are put all the way around the tanks. Now, mind you, this has never been an issue with anybody, but it's been an issue with us. So um, for the sake of expediting everything, we couldn't afford to have a company come out here because the minimum price I got was 15000 to do these tanks. And we, you know, anything over 4000 you have to go before a console to um, get it approved. And these guys tagged our tanks. Now I'm down to, it looks like uh, 600 gallons of fuel left. This guy came out here and tagged my tanks. You remove that, big fine. So I've been trying to get in contact with this guy, Mr. Parker, for a little bit over two weeks. I got this stuff done, and I was told it was really unnecessary that he did what he did to us. But um, I called him this morning. I was a little bit upset, but my voice didn't change from what it is now, asking him about the appointment that he missed last week when I had 2,000 gallons of fuel in my tank to um, here's the fire hydrant but I say fire extinguisher here a 10 BC um, to extinguish flames in case anything happens outside these tanks but these tanks were installed in 2000 in 2000 these tanks were installed and they've never forced anybody to create a plan like this but I took time and created the plan And I called that guy this morning, and I guess he could tell that I was really irritated. Nobody's ever seen these. It took me almost a month to find the plans to the construction of these two 6,000-gallon tanks. But we have them now. Here is my evacuation plan that I developed. Here's my checklist for attachment A, checklist for attachment B. I took photos of this whole thing um, as it progressed. Here's the work order that I had Oscar Larson come out here and perform. Cause this guy asked me, well, did you get the labels put on the tank? Yeah, I got the labels put on the tank. You can see from the third document from the rear that the labels are there. Here's my write-up. And I mean, this guy um, just really ran me through the motions. I don't think that it was fair. And everybody I talked to said that this guy shouldn't have tagged these tanks like that, um, but he did. But as we all know, shit happens and you just need to be prepared to handle your business when stuff happens. Unfortunately, um, we would have had to go out to bid to get a company to come in and do all of the work that was done on these tanks. It's just a shame. Um, but now all of this has been created. Going forward, the next director will never have these problems as long as uh, he maintains to complete this documentation as um, he goes forward. And I mean, I've had quite a few problems with the tanks, but I've always had to work professionally um, repaired. I've never tried to go out there and touch that, but that's gasoline, it's flammable. And then the diesel fuel is combustible. So I wouldn't have um, been so stupid as to go out there and try to jury rig something on uh, a six thousand dollar fuel, a six thousand gallon fuel tank, or a six thousand gallon diesel fuel tank. Just doesn't sound uh, right. So um, that's one of my last um, uh, bucket list items here, and you know you just had to be resourceful working here. There's still a lot of things that's got to be done, but it's my hope and my prayer that the next administration that comes in here um, has a good working relationship with the legislative body and the legislative body is as supportive of the Department of Public Works as the administration is. There is a lot that has to be done here in order to give these men the ability to service the city properly. The next director may not do the things that I have done down through the past several years because it's not part of the job description. Um, and uh, hopefully they will see fit to give the DPW director um, 
administrative help and um, more men and better equipment to perform these tasks that need to be performed around the city. Because, you know, it's not too many people that's going to play MacGyver like I did. Um, and I wouldn't plan. I was literally trying to service the city. But this gas tank fiasco is over because I put it in such a way that he understood that if he didn't come take these fucking straps off my tanks, um, he was going to have some problems because I was going to talk to his superiors. Um, he did not keep his appointments. He put undue stress on um, my department by making some demands that everybody that I've had come look at the work that I perform and the things that were required of me to do. Um, they said my tank should have never been capped in the first place. But that's going to be all over this morning. I am ordering fuel. Um, and um, I'll have that fuel by the morning. So the city is in, in good shape. We do have a backup plan just in case he doesn't show up. But I will not remove those straps. He's going to come and remove those straps. Um, that should have never been placed in the first place. He should have worked with me and given me time to do the things necessary to bring our tanks into compliance. And as you can see, You're reached Jan Davis, City of Highland. Um, our tanks are in compliance. And in most cases, what I've been told is they've never looked so good and that they're in a lot better shape than other tanks that are being serviced right now currently today. So they were just surprised that I had to go through all I had to go through, jump through all the hoops I had to jump through. But it's done now. I can move on to the next bucket list item. Be blessed. Today, I'm painting our fuel tank. Laura tagged us on all of the rust and everything, so I spotted all of the fuel tanks. And I'm going to paint them. Um, putting a coat of rust, rust oleum on everything first, and then I'm going to seal them in some marine paint. Um, but these are the things you got to do. I got a few days to get them done. So, we'll see uh, how I do with this. But without a doubt, like everything else, I'll get it done. And I'm looking like a chemist trying to get these tanks done. Yesterday, I used the rust -oleum base to get over the top of this. The top of it is all done. But I didn't have enough air holes to get all the way around this thing. And you can see how I missed this part of the box. Got that box. Ran out of paint here. But I've got to get this stuff done today. Um, today is the, the weather that um, I need to get this covered. So I'm going to have to go and purchase some rollers to put this epoxy on here. Um, this turned out really nice. Um, but that's covering up all of the flaky stuff that I took off of there. I need to get um, go to Sherwin Williams and go buy some stuff to get this stuff finished. And it's got to be done today. The top of the tanks, um, I painted the top of this one yesterday. It came out nice. Anything I can grab on here, lift myself up. Whew. So, I did a good job on that yesterday. But this stuff needs to be done. So, Laura can come and inspect these things. Um, I'll have the seals put on them. I don't know the last time that these things have ever been painted. But they look horrible. And it seems like all this stuff falls on me to, um, oh, and I need to pick up some red to do these poles. Well, let's get it done. This is the first tank that was all rusted out. And this is the two-part epoxy. This is the last part of it. So, it was a mess to roll this stuff. And it is not easy. This is finishing off this first um, tank. Put some rust oleum on it to seal that rust and stuff in, but two part epoxy. wouldn't believe this stuff costs $300 a gallon but it does so that one over there got to get done I have to do that one it is not as bad as this one was this isn't what Laura was complaining about 
This one was the one Laura's complaining about. But guess what? She's done. Peace out. This is some nasty stuff. This is Micropoxy 610, and it's got to sit with a uh, stir, it, and it's neat. it needs to slake for 30 minutes before you can use it. And this is 600, so part A and part B. Um, this not stuff at the bottom, that's just part B. And now I gotta stir, and if I pick this stuff up, you can see, well, you can't really see. I guess you can. But this has to be stirred together and allowed to sit for a minimum of 30 minutes. You could use a machine to stir it, but, you know, this white stuff, the catalyst, bites into the snotty looking stuff. Um, pretty good. It's some strong stuff. So the pot life is four hours, so I li literally have four hours to get this stuff onto the tanks. Um, and then four hours and 15 minutes, I guarantee you this stuff gets hard as a rock. Um, you can't, you can't manipulate it. Um, matter of fact, I thought I had the brush clean. Um, I had to literally break the fibers, break the fibers apart in a brush with this brush. That's, and you know what, that's cool. That stiffness, that's cool. It might loosen up a little bit once I start working. But um, yeah, that brush is hit. Forget about the roller. You don't even want to see that thing. The roller was a done deal before I'd even got it off of the uh, roller handle. So I'm going to get this stuff stirred up and set it outside because it stinks. It's really, really got a heavy smell to it. And you can see that it's, it's, it's thick. It is thick. So let me get this going. About a good 15 minutes of stirring. Um, and this will be nicely mixed and ready to apply. And then this other stuff I have, which is this part S, this part S, and this part T. This is a four to one ratio. And I'm going to spray that out of a gun. This is a lot thinner than this. So I'm going to thin this and top all of this with this just on the sides. I'm not going to worry about spraying the top of the tank with this. This is just a really nice coating to go over it. So I'm going to make sure I get the sides done. And if I have anything left, I might do the top uh, from the ladder without walking on top of the tanks. But this right here is pretty much a polyurethane um, gloss to this protective coating. This stuff right here, I'm not going to say it's bulletproof, but saying that it's bulletproof gives you the understanding that this is going to last long. So that's 300, 600, 900, and then that TS and this right here, I think this was something like 80 and $90 just for this little bit, this part T, but um, you're looking at $1,200 worth of stuff right here. Incredible. Um, 36 month shelf life. I've had it for a little while. But Laura came in here and forced me to do something with it. So um, I wanted to have a company do this. But man, when you look at what they wanted to get those tanks ready and get this done, they want to half my salary for, you know, three days of work. So better than that, half my annual salary. Hello, DPW. Hey, Willie, it's Ramsey Richie again. Hey, Ramsey, what's happening, bro? Hey, I uh, just wanted to check in real quick. I'm, I'm putting in these pictures that you sent into this application, and then I'm going to submit it today. Um, for the, and I, I just want to make sure I know what I'm looking at. I, I know, I think, which one is the Chandler, um, the the Chandler location. I want to make sure I understand what the other pictures are. Yeah. Um, like the one that's next to that kind of abandoned industrial looking house. Yeah. Uh, where, where are those lines? That's on the DPW yard, and those are the tires that's been in the uh, DPW yard for, oh, long before I got here. So how long is that? Probably I've been here for seven years now. Okay, so yeah, those and, and I've um, gotten rid of okay. probably two thirds of those because Ann Vogan, who I talked to yesterday, um, she she called me yesterday, was talking about a grant and I told her to contact you. 
Uh, was it the same grant or is it, was it about tires? That, yeah, it's about tires. So, um, Probably the same one if it was Eagle. Yep, Eagle. Eagle. So yeah. I know it's the well, same one. Reach out to me. I, I'm about to submit this application. So. Nope, no, um, go go ahead and do it because I told her. I said you were on it because she was great. the first person that came in here and gave me a fine for $180,000 to clean the yard up. And no I, way. Yeah, yeah. That was my her first act when we first met, man. She hit me with a $180,000 citation to, right, to clean. Yep. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure that if, if she reaches out to me that I say that we've been working on this. And then oh, I told right. her that you was working uh, on it. I told her you were working on it trying to help me get it done. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. I mean, I don't no, no guarantees, obviously, whenever it comes to grant money, but um, I think that this is – because you guys have already done so much work up front, it's a pretty simple – like, we just need the money to pay for getting this stuff out of there. Yeah. Um, pretty straightforward. So, yeah. um, good. Well, I, hopefully she'll reach out to me, and then uh, we can talk. <laughs> okay, because uh, what I want to do is put right. a flyer out there to have people in the city of Highland Park bring their tires to the yard. So I could right. try to help well, once them. Once we have an actual date set, I'm, yep. I'm shooting for 410 right now. Okay. But once we have an actual date set, uh, we'll work with, and I know you might be, you know, I know you're out in 60 days, but um, we'll work with with the city of Highland Park and then our internal communications team to make sure we're getting flyers out, communicating with people to say that, you know, you can you, you can take these here for no charge and, and we'll get we'll get rid of them. Yeah. Well, I'll um, be I'll be passing so. the torch to the next director to let them know that this program is has been initiated and that you're going to help us. So you'll be able to contact um, the new director um, okay. because this is something that's been a long time coming. Yeah, geez. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm. Hopefully, we can get it done this time. Oh. I'm going to talk to the land bank today about the uh, 254 Chandler Street yep. location. Yeah, I um, need that clean. Sure that it's owned by Wayne County Land Bank. They can obviously tell me, but you, you have it marked down as owned by the state of Michigan in that picture. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I mean, the land bank, Lucius is the one that we were talking to before, and he sent people over to clean it up. They they did a whole lot of uh, cleaning, and now it's a mess. So I got my guys going over there today to start moving the tires. And okay. if you could talk to them and have them come cut that whole area again, that would help me out immensely. And then you also want that you want that, or that that little shed basically to get knocked down, right? Yep, I want that removed. Okay. Um, well, let me see what I can do on my end there. You know, it's not my team, but I, I can at least talk to them. So um, I will, I'll reach out back to you if I get any more clarity on that, and then I'll let you know once I hear anything about this grant. Hey, I would appreciate uh, it. And I'll, I'll send you some more pictures from when I went and cleaned up that alley um, because that cost the city a ton of money to clean that alley Here's up. The alley. Is that next to the Chandler Street? It's right there. You know, you got the Chandler Street and right in the back of that little shed that you see standing up. There yep. was, there was, there's an alley back there. And in that alley, yeah, there was any, a... any pictures you've got, as long as I think if we can show, like, there's clearly a need. And I'm, I'm saying, you know, DPW is getting them to a central location. So we have everything handled. We just need someone to pick them up. Yep. Um, I think that that'll be a pretty convincing application. Yep. Well, I'm going to do that. And I'll go in there and give you shots of, um, give you shots of what I did this uh, summer to clean that alley up. Because I think that cost me pretty close to $7,000 to do Jeez. something that they didn't finish doing. You know, okay. and when they left all of that stuff there, that just gave uh, the people that came and redumped the alley a reason to redump it. And right, right, right. it cost me a lot of money. And that was Lucius that you were working with? That before? was Lucius. Yep, Lucius and, and Frank Haywood on our side, which is Safe Built. Okay. Um, so right. that's uh, one of Ty's employees. So, okay. yeah, we, we done done the Yeoman's part of it. So if you guys can come help me with the rest of it, the city will be happy. The people that's in that residential community will be happy. And, that's what we want. <laughs> and you know what? Somebody's going to try to buy that piece of Somebody will try to buy that piece of land. Somebody's going to immediately start trying to buy that piece of land once we get it cleaned up. Yeah, all right. Well, that sounds good. Thanks, Willie. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Yeah, so um, this job here, it is what you make it. And right now, what I'm getting ready to do is go out here and make a violation go away against our city, you know, because I'm not gonna pay no $20,000 fine to paint no two damn tanks. Um, we're gonna get those tanks painted and that's gonna be the end of uh, this problem. So I'm gonna be the mix master for the rest of the day. Peace.
And the president's making it very clear what his direction is, and also making it very clear what the other direction is. We got more news on that today, by the way. You know, the front page of the New York Times, you know, shows that uh, the Republicans are saying that if they... Okay, so I guess Laura heeded my conversation with him this morning because he's out there. I just saw him driving to the lot. So let's see what this guy does. Maybe I should go out there and um, greet this dude. <sighs> I'm quite sure he's uh, did a print up of everything that I sent him. And he's probably getting ready to get out of his truck. So I will... Um, Guess I'll go out there. No reason for me to be fearful of him. Yeah, let's go see what this guy's up to. He should have stopped by my trailer first because he knows that's where I'm sitting. You know what? Maybe I need to go get that documentation. Let me go grab it. Yeah, because I don't want there to be no mistakes. And I want to be as nice as I can be. That's uh, Rico. They're cleaning up my area over there. Hey, hey! Hope everything worked out. All right. Yeah, I left them use that area yesterday. I mean, uh, the end of this year, so they wouldn't have to worry about theft. But let's see what this guy's talking about. Hey, Mr. Parker. I guess he's busy. Hi, Willie. Hey, Mr. Parker, how you doing? Good, how are you? Just fine. Now. Hey, Willie, looks good, dude. They look good. Okay. Uh, I don't know this one. Hold showing, it for five seconds. No, I know. You're showing battery low, but I don't know if that always well, happens. I never really know. Now they're going to come back and change the batteries. I've okay. got them getting ready to hook some equipment up on the front for the uh, auto readers for all of the um, meters. Uh, cars. You know, all of the vehicles that come in here, we want to know what goes in what vehicle. Sure. So yep. 
this bad boy's damn near empty. So I need to, I'll call in today to have them come and refill it. Yep, tags are off. Uh, they look good. Um, completely different tanks than the first time I was here, but. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yep, so uh, this fire extinguisher yep, around here. Uh, we have uh, several types around here as they come and check them. I would, uh, I would totally recommend, you don't have to, but I'd only recommend that you get one of the bags for it to put over it because it makes it more visible that it's a fire extinguisher. Like a clear bag? No, uh, they're like a, a red, it, it's, it's red and they're four fire extinguishers. They okay. on the back. All right. Only because the trash can kind of blocks what it actually is. But right, I mean, well, what I've done is I've sent uh, this document out to um, the fire department and the police department so they know exactly where all this okay, stuff is. Sure. This right here just protects it. So no, I, I get it. I mean, 100%, yeah. I get it. So all this will change out. All of the rust has been inhibited on top of the tanks. Everything on the bottom is encapsulated. Um, and all of this stuff is going to be removed. But it's all up to code because what do you mean it's gonna be I'm going to have them put a machine here. It's a digital machine that tells you how much gas is being oh, used. Oh, okay, okay, like a gas boy or uh, something like that. Yeah, or... it's in there on the floor. Yeah. And they paid a lot of money for that thing. And it's basically been in there for a year sitting on the floor doing nothing. So now it's getting ready to be installed. So Oscar Larson will be out here next week. And there's one machine? There's one like machine that takes care of both, both tanks, yep. Yep, so everything's together. I All hope right. this is to your satisfaction. No, it is, absolutely. It looks great. Okay. So, nope, it looks good. Okay, Brian, I gotta get going. Nope, I, gotta I will get... email you the uh, report this afternoon. Okay. okay, okay. All right, thank you. Here's my truck coming in for hauling uh, debris. I keep my guys working. These dump trucks, oh, I need to go get some stuff for that truck. But those are some dogs there. If the city puts some salt spreaders on the back of those, um, city would be in really, really great shape. But, okay, so in real time, that's all settled.